So for today, I'm going to show you again on how to solve a particular LP problem using the QM for Windows application. So suppose we have this uh, particular problem. Okay, so it says here RFC company manufactures two types of special of lamp, special lamp and regular lamp. Each special lamp requires four pounds of brass and each regular lamp requires eight pounds of brass. During its production period, the company's brass supply is limited to 640 pounds and its special lamp requires six hours of milling time in the machines. And each of the regular lamp requires two hours in milling time in the machines. The company's machines are available only for 260 hours in its production period. Its special lamp requires five light bulbs that must be imported to Hong Kong. The transportation of these bulbs is limited to 200 units. The contribution of the profits of each lamp is 400 pesos and 360 pesos on regular lamp. How many units of special lamp and regular lamp should be produced for production period in order to maximize the profit? So this is a example of maximization problem and if you are going to summarize this problem in a tabular data so this is the result okay so we have here the first column the constraints and profit so as you can see we have the amount of brass the milling time and the demand okay for special lamp only okay and of course the profit per special lamp we have 400 and 360 pesos for a regular lamp okay so based from the table so we could produce now the objective function okay and the constraints so this is the objective function now and the constraints okay based on the problem okay so if you are going to make use of the graphical method of course this is uh, very difficult to graph because we have uh, hundreds of values here. But these constraints, these uh, inequalities can be uh, simplified. Okay, so this the first constraints is of course can be di uh, divisible by four, and the second constraint is divisible by two, and the third constraint is divisible by five. Okay, and this is the result. Okay, if you are going to simplify the given problem. Okay. So we have this, the final problem. So now, uh, I'm going to show you now on how to, to find the optimal solution using the QM for Windows application. Our question is, how many lumps, how many special lumps and regular lumps to produce? in order to maximize the profit so let us open the qm for windows application okay then we find here on the left side linear programming model so just click that one okay so we may write the title here problem problem two okay number of constraints how many constraints do we have so one two three including the non-negativity of variables two so one two three four five so we have five constraints okay so we have five here and the number of variables of course we have only two variable we are uh, um, the x and y variable okay we have the number of special length and a regular length and this is a maximization problem. Okay, maximize. Then click OK. So now we have here the first column. Okay, we have the constraints here. And then X sub 1. This would be our uh, number of special lamps. And then the next column is the number of regular lamps. And then we have the right hand side. And this is the equation form on the last column. So let's try to put the objective function here so while ago our objective is 400 x plus 360 y okay so just as i said we just write down the numerical coefficient so we have 400 and 360 
So the equation form, of course, you, you can check that. Okay, 400x sub 1 plus 300x sub 2. So I, I repeat, x sub 1 is for the special lamp and x sub 2 will be the regular lamp. Okay. Then now we try to uh, proceed on the constraints. So the numerical coefficient here is 1 and then 2 for y. And the right-hand side of the equation is 100. 60. So 1, 2, 160. 1, 2, and 160. So you then need to, to change the inequality because this is less than or equal to. Okay? And the next constraint is 3x plus y is less than or equal to 180. So the numerical coefficient here is for x is 3, and then y is for 1. And then the right hand side is 180. 3, 1, 180. Okay, then we proceed to the next. So here we have only uh, x variable. So 1 and then 40. Okay. So the equation form is correct. And of course, the last is the non negativity of variables. Okay, so of course we have to change the inequality to greater than because uh, there is no such thing as negative number of units. So it must be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so we have to double check the equation forms including the uh, objective function constraints if we obtain uh, the same equation. Okay. So now, on the upper part of this uh, window, you can see the solve ribbon here. So just click uh, solve. So as you can see now, um, the this is the output of our uh, problem. So as you can see, we have here the optimal solution, 40 for x sub 1, and then we have also 60 for x sub 2. Okay, and the uh, Maximum profit here is 37,600. So in other words, the optimal solution is the company should be able to produce 40 number of units for special lamp and 60 number of regular lamp. Okay? And then the maximum profit here is 37,600. Okay? For the graph, uh, the out uh, this is the output for graph. Okay, so just click here in the solution here. Just then we have number six graph. Okay, so this is the graph of the problem. Okay, so the shaded part is what we call the uh, what you call this one the feasible region. Okay, and then of course along the feasible region we have the uh, what you call this one the the points here okay these points okay the corner points rather okay the corner points so the corner points of course is located on the left side of this uh, right side okay of this table so we have here um, of course the 00, zero and then we have here 080 then 40 zero here and then of course the intersection of these three uh, lines we have 40 and 60 so in other words if you have your x sub 1 x sub 2 is 0 the profit is 0 of course if you if the company don't, did not produce anything then there is no profit at all and then if they are going to produce 0 for uh, special lamp and 80 only for a regular lamp then they will have 28,800 profit but if only 40 for a special lamp and none for a regular lamp, then we have 16,000 pesos. But if they are going to produce 40 and 60 for special lamp and regular lamp respectively, then the company would have a profit of 37,600. So this is the what we call the optimal solution of the problem. Okay, so that's how we solve uh, linear programming problem mod models using the QM4 Windows application. That's all and good day.